Hey guys, this is Lisa Mom, and today I am going to answer all the questions that you've been asking. So this is my answer to any question that you ask. Prasad, what makes me beautiful? I don't know, maybe, um, no, first thing is the makeup, and um, second of all is, um, I would say first thing is my com the combination of my mom and my dad, and second thing would be my makeup. But it's really sweet of you to say that. Thank you. And um, Henry, how does it feel like to be artist and dentist at the same time? I find it really interesting because like, since I really like um, both, dentist is more like a job that you practice. And um, painting is more like something that I would just, you know, do to, you know, um, least, least, like, just release my stress, you know. So yeah, I, I find them both really interesting and I love to do both of them. And um, Panarong, um, I love drawing girls' face because like I want to empower women. That's why I so I said so many times in the interview because I love the feature of the girl and I want to empower like beauty of women. And um Selena, something like that. But it's just something for fun, you know. And Tintin, my K pop group that I love. Not to be offense, but um, I can't even find any uh, K-pop group that I love because I, I don't really listen to them. I li but I still like um, 21 and Big Bang because like they're really cool and I love I love their fashion and and the fact that they're just like doing something different. Um, Sunisa, um, I manage, it's really, really hard to manage to study dentist and doing art at the same time because um, um, it's, it's just like dentistry, you require a lot of time to spend like on your education, like, you know, on studying. So um, I would say I, I sacrifice a lot of time of my um, art career to do dentistry because that's my first goal. And um, okay, so that my plan for next year art, I mean like, I don't know, you know, I never, I never expect to do it's just like my brain is really unexpected sometimes just want me to do this do that and it's come always come up with something new you know um well we'll see and the moon have i ever loved somebody that made me gone crazy i gotta say yeah i have i have you know teen when i was a teenager that's we all we all went through that because like we were once teenager and yeah we we do crazy things and we love crazy person and we are crazy too <laughs> so Adam meow what is that is it a question um uh, meow well if you ask me why meow because I love cat and Somalian what made me come this far my motivation I just I just want to, um, I just want to do some, I just want to finish something that I start, you know, like, that's my motivation. It's, it's just like you put on makeup. If you put only, like, foundation, then, like, it's not finished. You have to complete the whole thing, right? So, that's your motivation. Like, have to finish something that you start. And, um, Opana, 36, 25, 31. And uh, Sunisa, I have thousands, thousands of crushes, like including celebrity, athlete, and football, f football player, and um, I don't know, tennis player. Who just boys and girls, like in generally, I have so many of them. And um, okay, um, Nico, when I'm gonna get a baby girl? I don't know. I don't see myself as a mother, and I don't think I can just like get baby, baby girl on a snap on my finger because like that's fate. I think, but it, it'll take a very, very long time, and you know, to get me ready to get a baby girl. And um, why pain? Um, why do I love painting? I think it's just my passion since I was young, and um, what makes you? I mean, what makes me draw so well? Because um, I'm keep on practicing. And if you want to draw so well, grab your pencil, grab your paper, and start practicing right now, like every day. You know, the more you practice, the more you're getting better. Your take them hang. What kind of man would I prefer to marry with, and when? A man with white teeth. 
older than me at least five to ten years and um care about me and love me dearly you know and basically like a real man you know and when will i get married i don't know maybe in 10 years i just don't see myself having family yet and um Tida, what are my new year's resolution my new year's resolution um I don't know, just work harder because like that's the best thing of all. Working harder, you get the best thing, like the best result. That's like your um, New Year resolution. Um, when you need it, um, what's motivate through? Well, of course, you know, uh, it's always be up and down and I always get stressed and um, people always put me down for what I do. But the, beside that, you just I just fight through it, you know, because that's life. I mean, if you quit, it's not living is hiding and it's been you you lose the fight you know so just keep on fighting keep telling yourself like you know nothing matter but um what you're fighting for you know if you're fighting for your job i mean if people gonna talk bullshit about you you're just like forget it you know i'm just gonna fight my job this is my job i'm gonna get it you're not gonna get any job for me you know so those people are not going to get anything for you or it's not going to make you feel better. Forget it, you know. Do do your thing, ignore them. And if you have stress or pressure or, or on your job, I mean, just fight through it because that's life. It's hard, but I try. And Monica, how do I describe my fashion style? I think I'm a bit of everything. Street, urban, punk rock, whatever it is, it just... I don't know, I can just, I can just snap to, I mean, I can just change to girly side, I can just change to tomboy, I can just change to hippie kind of way, urban. I just want to do a bit of everything, you know, um, to change my look, so, it's the least among style. Well, like, how do I see society in terms of art and fashion? I think, um, in Cambodia right now, I th it start to develop and I start to see people doing something um, different from each other besides like always wear something like each other sort of time and um, I, I think like um, fashion although some of the fashion I see is like pretty much like copying such as like couture you know like most of the designer I see on Facebook like I I used to see those dress before like from abroad and from other brands and then like they just have it right now so I feel like the best thing of all people just stop doing the copycat thing and then start to do something unique you know and especially dressing in Cambodia I mean we won't always like always want to look the same as each other right just I don't know I just feel like now it's more the K-pop they just like so many people dress like K-pop you know but and then I start to see like more of the young team right now they dress so street and like very fun you know that swag thing they have going on it's just a little I don't know a little change and also art I mean people are starting to get into art more and which is making me really happy but one thing though I really don't like support something that is not original and people that bite other people's art I really don't like it and I don't support it um, so yeah, I think it's developing. Alina, Alina, I don't know how to pronounce your, I don't know how to pronounce your name on Facebook. Have I ever dated someone? I have dated so many people, but now I don't date anybody because I really don't have time for it. I, I just save my time for my work and myself. I really need a break for myself, basically. No more break. Oh no, sorry. Oh, Rainy, okay. Uh, who inspired me to be an artist? I think it's in my blood. Because all my family, they love drawing, they love painting, like, for their free time. So, I'm just the third generation of the Hmong family that have the art thing in my brain. It's more like a family blood-related gen thing, something like that. And, Lam Opek, it's a big yes. I would date you. I would take you to Italian food right on Kakpik. Eating ice cream, do whatever just all the couples like, you know, they like to do. If you're single, but if you're not, I'm sorry, I cannot let anybody punch me in the face because I'm dating you. Joking.
but it's a big yes. I would date you. Take me to Italian food. And Dara, come on, you're a day. Well, the next five years, I think. But I love you too. I love you, and I want to see you in person. That's ow. That's that's why I just said I love you, and I want to see you in person. Hey, then I would draw you a corgi if you buy any of my artwork, and that's a deal. So, um, Rolly, I wish I could burn that company, but I believe in karma. People gonna just come after the company and they just gonna be in lots of trouble. Because if they have problem with me, it's mean that they can't have problem with any other people too. So, karma. The company would burn down. And yeah, your conversation with um, the Orbit is really weird. So weird. So, um, um, Tim. What are my thoughts of singularity and is complicated for humankind? Huh? What? Singularity and is complicated for humankind. I think singularity is nothing complicated. I mean, yeah, of course. Like when you're single, like you just want to be like by yourself and you don't want to be with someone else. That's I don't know about that. People think different, you know. And that's a that's a weird question. And um, Princess Esther, when is my first kiss? When I was a baby, I was first born. I came like as a baby, and then my dad kissed me on my forehead. That was my first kiss. So Mame Nirut, who gave you the first kiss beside your dad? My mom and my uncle and my friend. All right, guys. Thank you so much for um. Thank you so so much for your question, and I wish you guys a very happy New Year's. Um. Yeah, just enjoy with your loved one, and try to be good. You know, just try to be good. Drink responsible. What am I? What am I talking about? Drink responsible. And enjoy with your loved one. Drive safely and happy New Year! Happy New Year 2015. Lisa Mel signing out. Thank you for being my friend. Bye.